Welcome back to Zane Customs. In this week's episode, I'm going to be sculpting the Minecraft zombie. So I started the sculpt off in Forger, which is an app for the iPad. And right off the bat, I, I decided I wanted to have um, his mouth open, almost like his jaws unhinged, so it's just kind of hanging there. And also, I uh, wanted, or I initially decided to have his clothes be all tattered because when you look at the Minecraft zombie, basically it just looks like he's wearing uh, blue jeans and a light blue shirt. But I thought it'd be more interesting if it was um, all tattered and stuff. Like, obviously, he was once a human that got turned into a zombie. So that's why he had those clothes in the first place. But I wanted them to look a lot more worn and uh, ripped and things like that. And I mentioned this. Um, I don't know if it was on Instagram or in uh, a previous video, but I was kind of dreading doing the zombie. It's one of the very original Minecraft mobs and, you know, possibly the most uh, iconic, but it's just a zombie. I mean, as aside from the skin being green, which when I think a zombie, I don't necessarily think that, but I know it has been done before, so even that, it wasn't nothing crazy, so... I was basically just dreading it because I didn't know what to do to make it look like um, I like a Minecraft zombie versus any other zombie. And in the end, I think a lot of that really did have to do with just the, the green coloring and then his outfit. Be because like as far as like texturing his skin and things like that, he's really no different than any other uh, zombie that you would see out there. He's a little less gory, but there's um, there is some gore in this one. But to speak about uh, the actual process, I just did the bare minimum in Forger and then push it over to ZBrush, which is what I'm working on here. And uh, basically what I'm doing is just going in and pose, posing his whole body. And one thing that I thought was super critical about this would be his, um, his fingers. I thought if his fingers didn't look good, I didn't spend enough time on those, then it, it obviously wasn't gonna look good. And this is what I was talking about where it is still a little gory because it is a zombie. So I, he doesn't have a thumb, but he has a bone poking out. So that might be, you know, a little too intense, but I thought it was kind of cool. But yeah, like I was saying, I felt like uh, the hands were going to be the most important part because with him reaching out like this and, you know, like the classic zombies and zombies in Minecraft kind of have both hands forward as they uh, are attacking you. Um, I wanted to have a similar pose, and I really just thought if the fingers, or the whole hands didn't look good, it, the whole sculpt wouldn't hold, even if the rest of it was really good. So, once I got a, uh, the majority of him posed, I went in and really focused hard on his hands to make sure those look good. And then here I repositioned his jaw to kind of get that I idea of what I was saying earlier, where I wanted it to look like his jaw is kind of dislocated, just kind of hanging there. And one thing I ended up doing on the sculpt that I think ended up helping sell the look of uh, being a zombie and like malnutrition and like a dead decaying body is um, any veins or tendons on his body are hyper defined. Um, like it, uh, when you look at the wrists or like right on the top of his feet there, um, I don't know if those are bones going uh, from his ankle to his toes or wh what they are, but I just tried to hyper define those, make them a lot uh, taller and uh, make the skin more sunken around him and I feel like that also kind of helped the mal malnutrition uh, dead look that I was going for. What was uh, nice about this sculpt actually though was it was pretty simple. I mean it's just one guy or zombie and once I got it roughly sculpted how I wanted to I was just basically texturing from that point onward and coloring and so like right here um, I did, I, I did what I mentioned in previous videos, doing a UV map and all that stuff so I can uh, do a surface noise and used uh, fabric alpha for that surface noise. And boom, there you have it. Now it looks like a, a real life shirt. And then I did the same thing here and tried to make them look like real jeans. And there's a lot of other techniques you can do to make them look um, even more lifelike. You can use actual photos of jeans and kind of... Um, stamp that image on there but um, like I've said in my past Minecraft videos 
these are my variation of what a realistic Minecraft creature would look like, but I still am I'm leaving it um, not cartoony, but kind of in between. You know, definitely it's more realistic, but I still want you to be able to tell. Obviously, this is from Minecraft. That's why, like, um, when you look at this zombie's head, it's a little squared off and things like that. And I'm not trying to like. Obviously, if you put this in real life, it would it would look weird. It wouldn't look like a real life zombie, but uh, I just try to toe the balance between um, a realistic looking zombie, but it's one that's still stylized and still kind of fits the Minecraft, um, design sense, obviously, um, aside for the whole block design sense, but another thing that I did to kind of make, make this look more unnatural is, uh, like the, the position of like his toes here, I kind of splayed them out farther, uh, than they would normally be. And I just looked at my my toes I put my foot in this the same position uh, the zombies foot in to kind of see how mine reacted and uh, mine didn't splay out this far so I just kind of took that and went even farther with it and tried to make it look weird and then also like the way uh, his big big toe kind of hooks in I want it to look like almost like his bones are broken and they're just kind of going any way they want and you'll see like uh, when I zoom out you can see the whole sculpture um, so his knees kind of go the opposite way and like his uh, back left leg uh, kind of pulls more left than it's supposed to and things like that but to still try to have it um, look like Minecraft I tried to I really overanalyzed the actual Minecraft model and there's not a lot going there again it's just a green zombie uh, blue jeans and a light blue shirt and I tried to pull anything out of that I could like in the, the actual Minecraft model, you can see the seams going down his pants. So I added that, which I was obviously going to add anyway, so that wasn't like nothing new. And then his shirt is kind of tucked in on one side, not the other, so I tried to add that. Uh, but one thing I did that is different than the model, um, aside for like having his clothes be torn up, I feel like that's not that big of a deal. I think a lot of people could assume that's kind of what they were going for, but it doesn't necessarily... Um, you can't like see his green feet or anything the the pants go all the way down and I thought it'd be cooler to kind of have him ripped up but I had his mouth open and if you look at the actual model his mouth never opens um, his whole face is green and it's kind of like hard to tell that he even necessarily has a mouth but I'm I'm sure that, that that's what they were kind of implying with, uh, with some of the textures on his face but he never opens it and I I looked up a lot of reference photos and even like people's fan art of what a realistic one would look out like I did see some photos where his mouth was open, but again, I think most of those were just fan art. I don't think in-game he ever opens his mouth. I, d I don't ever remember seeing anything like that. So that would be like the main difference is his mouth is open and his, you know, jaw just kind of hanging there. But I think uh, that was more just a, like an artistic decision for the actual sculpture, which is something that, you know, like I said earlier with kind of towing the line between realistic and the Minecraft stuff. You just kind of got to toe the line as far as the design sense too. When I went to texture his skin though, I uh, did something that's actually pretty cool. I have a, a texture that's meant for skin. It's supposed to look like the, the tiny little um, creases and cracks in your skin. Uh, but one thing you can do is you can inverse it. So instead of um, carving those creases into the skin, kind of it, it, it bumps them out on the outside of the skin. <laughs> which I think just helps to kind of add to the whole weird creepiness and it makes makes it look like he's not necessarily dead, like he's got weird things growing on his skin and it's, it's a small de detail. You'd have to zoom in to see it, but I think it uh, made it look a lot better. One design aspect I actually loved about the Minecraft zombie was that his eyes were just black. And again, Minecraft, is just a bunch of blocks and it's super simplified so you know if they had more um more possibilities they might do something different but i i thought that was a really cool idea because a lot of times like a lot of the zombie art i looked up to help give me inspiration they were like bloodshot eyes and just things like that but black eyes i never really seen that before so i thought that was really cool and then here i was pretty much done with it and then i showed my wife and she said it looks like he's trying to grab his gronk so and then i looked at it and i'm like yeah it does that or pull up his pants or something so I went back in and just repositioned that to the right more and I think that works it looks a little bit more like a 
classic zombie pose, whereas I was kind of trying to make it look like his arms are all falling, like his jaw and everything is just kind of hanging lax. Um, whereas this one's not so much, but I think it still works because it looks a little bit more like the classic zombie pose. And you know, obviously the Minecraft zombie where he's got both arms out at like he's walking towards you. And then here, all I'm doing is, uh, basically this is how I render out photos for Etsy or like YouTube thumbnails or uh, the photos that you'll see at the end here. Super happy with the way this one turned out. Uh, I think I I did a lot more with this one as far as painting and things and making it look like he's got dirt and grime all over his suit. So uh, giving him that kind of uh, muddy base I thought fit really well. And like I said, I, I usually only have about a week to do these things and that, that was the same with this one. But the video I'm gonna be posted next week I've actually spent quite a bit of time on and I'm super excited about it it looks a lot more thought out and more finished than um, all these sculpts that I don't have all, the same amount of time with so get excited for that one but yeah like I said more than anything I'm really just uh, super appreciative of anybody that watches my videos anybody that subscribe any co people that comment super appreciate it and yeah again thanks for watching I'll see you next week